Hello everybody and welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. So we are here with the Lizard Truck and also the Scorpion King. We're going to do a bit of forestry. Now on the back of here, you can just about make it out in the mirror, we actually have two auto-loading trailers. Let's just turn some of these lights off. There we go. Just keep the front ones on. Um, so yeah, we're going to go over to a, a forest over here. We've never been there before. I don't even know if you can cut that many trees down there because it could be off the map, I'm really not too sure. We have never visited it. If it turns out you can't go there then we can find another place to go to, but it would just be nice to explore this area. I think it's in the far north. Yes it is, the far north of the map, so this would be very interesting to see. So if Chainsaw ever cuts so many trees down that I can't keep up with the loading and selling, there are two more trailers over at the store. So if he needs to uh, help out, then he can do. But I think really, because it's a double trailer, it's going to take some time to actually load. Plus, I'm not that good at using it, so we'll have to see what this is like. Um, so yeah, I, I did use this before on the um, Shamrock Valley map, and I'm slowly getting the hang of it. So this should go okay, hopefully. I've just looked at the configuration of the trailer and it would appear that having six meter cuts would be the most beneficial. I should have probably taken that turn a bit wider. Oops. Um, <laughs> oh no. That is so close. Uh, except for the trees in front of me. That's pretty good. Yes, if I would just taken that as a bit of a wider turn, there would have been no issues at all. Okay, so I think the time would probably be best at times five. We don't need to have it uh, going really fast. And, well, we're not off the map yet, which is good. I think that this forest is actually a playable area. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, we do seem to automatically own it as well. Doesn't mean we can cut the trees down, but it would be nice if we can do. So there is Chainsaw. Yeah, that's the edge of the map, just there you can see it. If this isn't a suitable forest, then, like I say, we do have this area. Well, this area has tons and tons of trees. Uh, in fact, we actually own these ones here. So let's just see how this actually does go. So yeah, that is working. Uh, I was moving, so that one has not really worked, but in the future, it should do, with a bit of luck. These trees don't really look suitable, actually. Yeah. Oh, it's having a bit of an issue with the arm. Sometimes, uh, if you've got a steering wheel enabled or something, it can mess up the controls, you have to reconfigure. Uh, it looks like it does work for me, but I'm not very good at using it. We found some better trees, just around the corner. So yeah, these aren't the best. I would not want to be the person reversing that. <laughs> I didn't actually uh, voluntarily get into here. I was looking around when I tabbed back. This was the available vehicle. Uh, yeah, reversing that is going to be quite tricky. Um, hmm. We might have to drop it off and get a tractor. Because otherwise it's going to be quite difficult. Whoa, that's, uh, that's quite something. So yeah, this is the better stretch of uh, forest. There is actually an even better place at Field 42, right next to the main yard. But as we're here now, it would seem silly not to uh, take some of these trees. So yeah, I think there's going to be a bit of issue with uh, reversing that other trailer, so I'll give Chainsaw a hand with the Fiat. Not the fastest tractor in the world, just 15 miles per hour. But I'll get there eventually. Like, in a few years' time. I can just see the trailer flying up into the air over there. Every now and then it just launches. Okay, let's see where it got to. Still attempting to reverse. I think it would be easier if we detach that rear one and then I take it with this and then we can reattach it later. Drop the dolly off. Oh no, the tree has also removed itself. Okay, so I think we're going to just start again. It would be the easiest way of doing it. I found some even better trees over at Chainsaw's house. <laughs> uh, I don't actually know whose house it is. Uh, but yeah, they've got this amazing area which we can just go and help ourselves to. This is great. Well, we can soon transform this place. It might have seemed like a slow start, but actually, we have two. Two logs on there. So, because the logs in FS are worth quite a bit, that's probably about a £1,000 worth. And now things are going to change quite a bit. So Chainsaw's gone off to go and find the three-point linkage uh, saw. Because for whatever reason this doesn't seem to work too well for his configuration. I've had the same issue before. I had to reconfigure everything. Um, so yeah, if he does that. 
then I'll continue doing it this way. And I think when things do get going, and stick it on a time lapse, and it should, hopefully, look quite impressive. That's a bigger tree. That is a much, much bigger tree. So I need to make sure that the configuration is right on the on the lorry as well. We want to be loading up from the left hand side. I'll just take the straps off. Uh, ideally this wants to be static, it doesn't want to be over stationary, it doesn't want to be moving. Uh, so we've got two, start the engine, I don't know if you have to have the engine going, I don't think you do. Switch all the loads to the left, yes we'll do that. And let's just see here, start auto load, good. Okay, so that should all be working as it should be, hopefully. I've also got this set to 6 metres, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Here goes. Please auto load. I'm probably a bit too far away now. Yes, look at that, fantastic. Uh, so, let's just try another tree before I do move on. There we go. Six meters once again. Swing it round. Press X and it should go into the trailer. Lovely. Okay, I suppose because that one was uh, that was a very chunky log, uh, it didn't want to go in properly. Now, usually I actually use the um, easy development mod, and it means you can actually pick these heavy ones up by hand and just nudge it along. But just shunting the uh, truck later should get it into position. So anyway, I'm just going to continue, and we will see how many I can get loaded up. But because they are a uniform length, they're all six meters. It should, providing I don't do something wrong, it should look very neat. So. Enjoy the time lapse. Hopefully, this all goes to plan. We are always, always on the edge. Parts are open wide. Different, yet alike. You and I, so different. No. We are always, always on the edge. Okay, so it could have gone better, but that is what we've got so far. I just unloaded it and loaded it up again just to make things a bit easier and neater. Um, yeah, it was just getting a little bit too cluttered around there. So I think what we're going to have to do is probably get a few telehandlers in here to drag out some of these other trees. Uh, chainsaw's just been using the, uh, well, chainsaw, and naturally, and the tractor as well. And I think we are going to have to get a stump grinder in here too to tidy up some of these stumps because it is quite easy to get stuck on them. But, yeah, it's, it's going okay. I mean, <laughs> it could be a bit better, but it could also be a lot worse. Uh, I don't know if the little pieces will go in. I don't think they will do, but anyway, who knows. Also, I don't know if there's a trick to knowing where to put the logs outside of the trailer to get them to actually go in, but it does seem quite sensitive. I'll just take this tree down, and that should give us plenty more access and visibility. Let's just see if I can find the trunk great big woody thing in the middle. There we go. Okay, so I've got it set to pile 2. Pile 2 seems to have picked up all sorts of sizes, despite being set to 6 meters. I don't really know if that is just telling us that the maximum is 6 meters, or if the maximum it will actually allow is 6 meters. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's taking those, which is good. Very good. So I think, yeah, could do with a bit of neatening up here and there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, overall, it could be going much worse. I think, yeah, if we just get a telehandler, we'll be able to sort a few things out here. And everything will then be fine. So I'll continue chopping. And actually, we, we've probably already made a lot of money here. Also, the sawmill isn't too far away. It's actually very close. Okay, so here we go. Is it close enough? It is. I think I'm, I usually get too close, and that's the biggest problem. But that is also loading quite well. That is quite a clearing. Very destructive. So, um, yeah, we were thinking about the next map, and I think it's going to be Green River. We're not sort of confirmed it, but we think that it would be a, a suitable map for this, for this sort of idea. 
Uh, and obviously Green River was so popular as well for 17, so it would make perfect sense. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Let's see if this auto loads. Please do. Or you could just simply drop it. It just it just dropped it. Oh, blimey. It's not even trimmed it. Oh, what a lot of work. Good job we've got the telehander on the way. Could probably do with bringing that skid steer over too. Yeah, I'm going to bring the skid steer. Luckily, the skid steer is over here, so I can just pick it up very simply. And we can deliver it to the forest. I've just bought a few goodies for it. Uh, there's a really good grapple. And also there is the stump grinder as well. And there is actually a tree cutting down device which I haven't bought but it could be quite useful. So I'd definitely consider it. Anyway, let's just go and take it over to the store and we can pick them up. Okay, here we are. I don't know if I should buy the tree cutting down device. I don't think I will do. Uh, purely because it just doesn't seem necessary when we have one. But I'm just thinking that Chainsaw doesn't have the uh, control set up for the Scorpion King. Well, at least I think he does because he, he has done it in a single player video before. Possibly some kind of multiplayer issue. Um, but yes, it, it could be useful for that. Uh, anyway, just around the corner here, we've got these two things. We've got Stump Grinder, and we have got a Grapple. So first of all, let's sandwich the... Actually, no, I'll I, I sandwich the Grapple. Mmm, Grapple Sandwich. What would a Grapple Sandwich be? A mixture of grapes and apples? Sandwiched in bread? I have no idea. And now for this monster, which I'll keep attached because it is quite an obscure shape and it could very easily come flying off. Because you can't strap on this trailer. I don't think. So, yeah, we'll just keep it attached. There'll be plenty of space for it. There we go. Okay, so let's go and deliver them. Should look quite good, hopefully. Should work quite well as well. A bit too excitable there going around the corner. Ah, look at this. All systems go. The telehandler is in full swing and I'm delivering this. So we do have two trailers here. Um, let's hope it doesn't auto load the skid steer that I've been using. I don't want to get in the way. I feel like I have just gone completely in the wrong place. So uh, I think I'm going to just start getting rid of some of these stumps. That's better. I think if I go over here out of the way, it's going to be a better place for us. Uh, so we'll turn it off, turn the beacons off so we don't get a flat battery, and we will get this thing started up. Stumps first because they are just frustrating. You can get stuck on them all the time. And forgive me, I haven't used this many times before, so I know that you can uh, actually control it, left and right. By the look of it, you put it on the ground to work it, I would say you do. But I'm not a, a tree stump expert, so yeah, let's just see see how we do this. Okay, and then to control it left and right, is it right? Right mouse button. Up and down. Now left and right is possibly... Hmm, how do you do left and right? <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. Maybe it does just go up and down. Mmm, hungry, hungry, hungry. Yeah, it definitely jams it in a good place when it's got that down. And munched up. Very, very hungry. Slow but effective. Okay, we've got quite a few more to do, so I'll see you in a second. There we go, all done except for one which glitched over there, it just didn't want to go, uh, whatever you do it just doesn't move. So anyway, uh, as you can see, Chainsaw has been loading this trailer and it's looking phenomenal, uh, you can see that it is quite full, uh, so we've sort of gone against kind of the auto load, but we're doing the auto load as well, just trying to get everything as full as possible. I think one thing I would change for next time, for the next load, is not to have two piles of 6 meters, which is what it set as, I'd have one pile of 12 meters, it's just going to make everything so much easier. I think that's probably what's kind of messed things up a bit today, but um, yes, let's just uh, jump back into the skid steer. And I don't know if we're going to actually have the grapple, but I'm going to put this out of the way. 
The grapple is just here if we need it. So yeah, we have another trailer. If we need it. I've just realised we're sort of on the boundary of the map here. It wasn't clear before, but you can now see the textured backdrop. Obviously the Scorpion King is just the much faster and easier way of doing this. But it doesn't always work perfectly. Like when it drops it halfway through. Yeah, auto loaded. You've just got to get the position right, I think. That's all it is. Figuring out the position. Almost. There we go. I think I'm just never close enough. I never go close enough. Or, or I go too close. I'm always just... Oh no, it took it off his pallet fog. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I shouldn't laugh. Oh, it's dropped mine. I don't, does anybody know why mine drops? Uh, I don't know if it's just because I've got it twisted around too much or something. But uh, yeah. Kind of frustrating. So I'll trim these off by hand. So I've just moved the other trailer out of the way. Gets one into position. Should be okay just there, hopefully. And let's just see if everything's on auto load. Yeah, it's auto loading. So it's actually set to two piles. I want to change that to one pile. There we go. Start auto load. I'll switch to left as well. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So back onto the time lapse. Let's just very quickly get this one loaded as well it should it should be easier hopefully Okay, so despite a few uh, glitchy logs here and there, we are now doing quite well. The money which we make here should be quite impressive. Yeah, that's that's sort of welded to the uh, grapple, which is unfortunate. It's free! Maybe I can now persuade this one to load up. It shouldn't be too difficult, just a nudge in that direction, and it should get into the trailer. I also noticed that this new Honda is quite underpowered. With the stump grinder, it didn't have enough power to move. Uh, when it had it turned on, so I think it's too long. Give it a trim, and it should auto load. Oh, I'll just do my exercises. Hey, this could get fun. Oh, yes. It could also cause seasickness and other strange problems. The tree auto loaded. Ah, glitches in FS. It's always fun. Hey, it's a heavy tree you have there. Well, there's a few odds and ends just lying around. I'm thinking I might put that in the back of here. It doesn't seem to want to fit in the trailer for some reason. Okay, so there we go. That is everything done. That's a lot of wood. Okay, time to sell. Am I seeing things, or is that grapple actually attacking that trailer? Uh, what is that grapple doing? <laughs> oh wow, what is it doing? <laughs> Look out for that crazy grapple, it seems to have a mind of its own. It's going for a picnic in the woods, I have no idea what it's doing. Unbelievable. It's been acting strange for a little while. Okay, so after all the fun with the grapple, it is now time to go over to the self point. Now, of course, it is the sawmill, and I don't know if the sawmill is fairly inaccessible for this. That wasn't me, by the way, that was the grapple. 
Okay, so that grapple is mysteriously attached to one of the trees in here, and if I keep driving forwards, it just pulls the trailer over, uh, avoid it upright it. So, I think the only solution here is to try and sell the grapple. I hope it works, because every time I move forward, like I say, it just flips the trailer. Uh, it's not actually physically attached to it, but it, it thinks it is. It's, it's possessed. It's very strange. So, hopefully... Yes, that's got rid of it. Good. Okay. So, uh, that should be sorted. Nice. Yeah, I was driving down there at about 10 miles per hour. Well, Chainsaw thought it was me going too fast, but it definitely wasn't because I could see it. It kept pulling it. And then it kept, uh, every time I stopped, it kept trying to go over. So, yeah, we're off to the sawmill, which is just over here. I'm just wondering if there's another place to take them to. I think the sawmill is the only place. Look at all the wood, though. We have two full trailer loads. I don't know which one contains more. This one potentially, because although it's not quite as full, they are much longer, so there's not many gaps between them. This is going to be quite impressive. Okay, must go steady around here, because when you've got the dolly, it is more unstable. They're both pretty good lows. Okay, so I think, luckily, the uh, tipping point for these is actually in the entranceway. If you, would, if you were doing the wood chips, you have to go all the way around the back. So it should, hopefully, be nice and simple. Just put it over here. And with a bit of luck, everything will sell in one go. I don't know if you have to unstrap it, but I will do anyway. Okay, where's chainsaw? There is chainsaw. Here we go. How much have we got from the first trailer load? £38,321. That seems <laughs> unusually low, but it's, you know, it's pretty good. Um, I think... On Shamrock Valley, I was making that out of just a few trees. I don't know if the price varies. Okay, time for the one which looks like it's got more in it. 38,000 it's got to beat. 42? Pretty good. So that one did have more in there. Okay, well, uh, there we go. <laughs> We've done the logging. And next time we will be returning on a new map, probably Green uh, River, but I will have to uh, just clarify before we do that. Okay, we'll take it back to the yard and then we'll call it a day. Yeah, it's a pretty fast track to this. So there we go. It has been a very good map. And I think we started this series back in September. Uh, and it has been thoroughly enjoyable. But it is now a new year. It is time to move on. We've got more maps to explore. So there we go. From Lone Oak. Thank you so much to Oxygen David and Bullet Bill. It really has been very enjoyable. Thank you for watching everybody, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.